live or own real estate here in Central Florida? Well, if so, you're going to want to hear the latest about our local real estate market. A great philosopher once said, the times they are a-changing, so you'd better start swimming or you'll sink like a stone, or something like that. That was Bob Dylan, of course. Well, these times are, in fact, changing. So stick around until the end of this video, and I'm going to tell you exactly what you need to know to be successful in today's local real estate market. I'm Chuck Shaver with the Shaver Group at Keller Williams Heritage Realty here in Central Florida, and today I will be addressing the residential West Volusia real estate market, including Deltona, DeLand, DeBerry, Lake Helen, and Orange City, as I review the market for the month of March 2022. At the end of March, the median sale price of a home in the West Volusia area was $298,900. That's up almost five grand in just one month and $56,000 in one year. As I'm pricing homes today with my sellers, I'm a little more cautious than I was just a few months ago. The selling price to listing price ratio is still at 100%, but you may remember last month when I addressed the concept that this 100% number is the cap. The MLS doesn't actually show the ratio for those homes that have sold above 100%. I'm certain that the number of homes selling above 100% has declined from my experience, as well as from other professionals here in the area. It took local sellers a median of six days to get their homes under contract. That's flat since last month, which is still a very good number, but this doesn't mean there isn't some pushback from buyers. Sellers are aware of the power they've held, but they're also aware that they need to sell while the selling is good. That six days is still faster than it was three months ago when it took seven days for sellers to accept a contract. Next, let's talk about how many homes are available for purchase. At the end of March, there were just 335 active listings in our market. That's down from 476, or 30%, in just three months. A year ago, there were 381 homes available. We actually had an increase in the number of available homes last summer, but the number of available homes has been on the decline now since probably September or October in there. So Freddie Mac's interest rate at the end of March was 4.67%. Now I know that that number will cause some younger people, maybe some millennials, to absolutely lose their minds. But that number is still a historically very low number. That's up from 3.11% at the end of the year, and it's been in that range for about the last year. Check out this chart and see how the rates have skyrocketed since the end of December of 2021. So, what's impacting our local market? Well, the interest rates are the big news, and the talking heads on the news outlets say that these rates are going to continue to rise, as the Fed raises its rate to combat that out of control inflation that I've been talking about, I don't know, for three or four months now. I read one article that the war in Ukraine has actually kept interest rates a bit lower. The lack of available homes is the one thing that I believe has kept the days on market steady and kept the prices moving upward and the inventory down. As for us, unemployment is good. Disney and the attractions, Amazon and the Lake Mary and Sanford corporations and the local municipalities all continue to struggle with hiring. So there really are plenty of jobs out there for those that want to work. More workers usually equates to more buyers. So this lack of inventory is a good thing, right? Well, if you're a seller, yes. If you're a buyer, heck no. As these rates rise, many of the buyers that I'm seeing in our market are being priced out. It's important to remember that if a buyer is approved for the purchase of a given home price and these rates rise, well, they can no longer afford that home. Many of these buyers are now turning to rentals, but that just exacerbates the rental shortage. I'm getting several calls every week about people looking for rentals, and I really don't even know how to help them. Thus far, my sellers haven't felt too much pain in spite of their, their listings sitting on the market just a bit longer, but we do see that buyers are feeling it. As such, as rates rise and this lack of inventory burns itself out as these new homes are being completed, I believe we're certainly going to see a balancing out in this market. Given that I'm already feeling the turn in spite of the positive numbers, I anticipate that we're going to start seeing more price reductions and a balance of power in this market by probably midsummer. I don't expect the market to fall off a cliff or anything like that, but I'm confident that we're going to see changes by then. Sellers, I encourage you to pay attention to what's happening and get while the getting's good. Buyers, stop worrying about overpaying because appraisals are helping many of you and worrying about a home being overpriced by, say, $10,000 could cost you another $40,000 in higher interest rates if you'll even be able to afford a new home tomorrow. If you have questions about the market's future, or if you have any questions about the real estate market here in Central Florida, either leave a comment below or reach out to me directly. Lastly, don't forget to like this video and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so already. 
That ensures that you'll receive a notification when I share other videos just like this. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.